Hey everyone, Steve here. Well, welcome to another video. Um, I've got the tailgate down on the new Ford Ranger and uh, I've got a parcel turn up from Lee Time. Uh, got in contact with me oh, about a week before we decided to buy the new car and uh, said to us, how's your 200 amp hour lithium battery going that we sent out to you? And uh, I told them that I had actually given it away to a mate. Uh, as you know, I've been using it in the FJ and uh, end of last year, about July last year, we went away camping over at, um, where was it, Bluff Creek or somewhere. And uh, I was camping with uh, Phil Demiano, uh, Rob Richmond, a couple other people. We we're having a great old time. And uh, anyway, Phil, told me before we left to go over there that he was having troubles with the battery in his new camper trailer. It was old batteries. Uh, we'll find out in a minute about those, but they were failing. And uh, I had the uh, 200 amp hour lead time lithium battery that I've been running in the FJ, testing that out, and it has been absolutely fantastic. Um, but I wanted to help a mate out. So what I did was I pulled the uh, 200 amp hour lithium battery out of the FJ and I gave it to Phil and I put my old battery back in the uh, FJ. The only reason I did that is that battery was built for that system, whereas the lead time battery um, was built, well, wasn't specifically built for that system. So uh, nothing wrong with it. All I decided to do was help a mate out. I'm gonna be talking to Phil in a second, but I just wanted to explain to you why I took the battery out of that system. So told Lee Time what I did, they said that is really awesome um, that you helped a mate out and uh, they said to me, look obviously you can't do the review on that battery but how would you like to um, us to send you out another battery and I said that would be fantastic because I am actually going to do another electrical build in the new Ranger and I said it would be good if I could um, get another battery off you and uh, they've decided to send me out a 230 amp hour lithium battery. So it's bigger than the last one they sent me out and I'm going to install it in the FJ. So that will come in the next few weeks. Um, I'm gonna pull the battery out, show you the battery, talk about the battery. That's not about what this video is today. What I wanted to do was tell you the reasons why I pulled the old battery out, what I did with it, where it's gone and uh, the bloke who knows all about it is Phil Demiano. So what we might do is we might head inside. I'll get my camera set up behind my banner and all that sort of thing. We'll get Phil online and uh, we'll have a yarn to him, eh? Cheers, everyone. Let's go. Can't wait to show you this battery, though. These batteries are absolutely amazing. Cheers. Okay, everyone. I'm inside. Uh, I've got StreamYard all booted up. First time I've used StreamYard. I'm going to get in contact with uh, Phil Demiano from Phil's Cambering Reviews. Let's see where he is. You never know where Phil's going to be when you start talking to him. He could be 3D printing uh, boats. He could be uh, doing trains. But let's bring him in and say good day to him. Hey, mate. Hey. You're in your camper trailer. How are you? I am, mate. You caught me at a real good time. I'm just sitting here relaxing, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. yeah. Well, geez, it's been a while since you've had the camper trailer out. It's been horribly hot this summer hasn't it oh it's been terrible and it's been the longest hot summer too and it's finally starting to cool down which means camping time so i got the camper trailer out in the backyard getting it ready for my next camping trip whenever that will be hopefully not too far in distance yeah yeah i was only just saying there at the start that uh we're all looking forward to the cooler weather uh so we can get out uh get together you know, you, me, Terry and Rob and uh, maybe go somewhere that we're all familiar with and uh, light up the fire and have a have another camping trip because I was telling everyone uh, at the start there that you had a little bit of trouble with your battery back in uh, July last year in 2024 and uh, you'd only just recently purchased that camper and you weren't quite sure about the batteries that you had in it. I think they were AGM or something, weren't they, Phil? They were lead crystal. Lead crystal, there right? Was, oh, yeah. Yeah, there was 220 by amp hour lead crystals 
and they weren't holding the charge and they they weren't charging so unfortunately uh, I mean it's only six years old this camper and lead crystal's supposed to last a long time but I'd say prior owners probably didn't look after it and charged it correctly um, so the first couple of times I went camping um, I was running out of battery power I was having problems so I had to connect to my bit luckily I got the Victron gear in the car um, which is all fine and good, but, you know, I've got a, a, a fridge freezer in here and I want to keep that running and the batteries weren't good enough to do that. So that was a bit of a problem. Yeah, well, that's where I come in because, uh, like I was saying at the start there, as you know, I had the uh, 200 amp hour lead time battery and uh, they were kind enough to send that out to me and I was um, testing it in my FJ Cruiser, I'd actually put it in that battery system that we built up at your place, which has been going fantastic. You, can you believe it? It's nearly two years now, Phil. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, and uh, getting too old. And I have not had one ounce of trouble with that build system. So it's a testament to your building skills and, um, and the system that we uh, put together up at your house there. And, uh, I, I was using that battery and uh, I decided uh, when after talking to you and hearing that you had so much trouble with your batteries and you were struggling at the time to um, afford to get another battery for the caravan, I made the decision. I talked to Annie and I said, look, I don't think lead time will have a problem with it, but I decided to give you that battery so that you could run all your electrical stuff because at the time I think you just put a new hot water system in. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you were running diesel heaters. You were doing all sorts of stuff, and I knew you could make better use out of it than what I could. Yeah. I still had my other 200 amp hour lithium battery at home, yeah. so um, I gave it to you. So yes. what I wanted to ask you is how's it going? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank you, Steve, very much for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, that. that's... You've got no idea how much... No, that me. was my pleasure, mate. Um, I, I only just purchased this, so as you can imagine, um, my funds was very low, and plus I had to invest a bit of money into it for changing all the wiring and the plumbing, etc. cetera. Um, so, yeah, no, it came at a perfect time, and I didn't know what I was going to do, Steve. I didn't know what I was going to do. It was got to the point I was going to look for the cheapest battery, even if it was an AGM, um, and just whack that in for the time being until I could afford um, to get a light time. But Steve was kind enough one day, rang me up, Phil. I see you've got problems with the battery, and he's offered that battery for me. So awesome, mate. <laughs> I really appreciate yeah, it. It was my pleasure, mate, and uh, that's what friends do. Uh, yeah. We try and help each other out where we can, and... Yeah. Uh, and I knew you could make the best of it. And yeah. uh, and like I said, I had the other battery at the time that I could put back into my car. And uh, I was originally going to put that battery in my caravan. Uh, that was my original use for it. But when I got my caravan, it had a bigger battery in it. And I thought it had a 120 amp hour lithium battery. And um, I would have had to change all the box and everything in the caravan, which I didn't want to do at the time. Mm. So uh, it worked out good for me. It worked out good for you. Yeah. And uh, I have got another battery myself coming from Lee Time um, because I'm doing a new build in the um, new Ford Ranger that I've got. And uh, I will be using nearly all the components that we put together in that original build on my 12-volt system. Awesome. But I want to put a bigger battery in. So okay. I'll, I'll I'll be getting a 230 amp hour lithium battery this time. Nice. And uh, it'll, that'll give me an extra 30 amp hours and just be more, um, I'll be able to use it with a lot more things. So stay tuned for that, mate. I might have to come up and see you and um, maybe get a bit more advice off you. I'm, I'm, and, I'm uh, here. I'm here. Uh, always welcome to come here or we meet up somewhere or, or give me a call anytime. That's the least I can do, eh? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to just ask you, though. How how is the battery going, mate? Like it's been in there for a while now. When did we say July last year, twenty twenty four? Yeah, I picked it up in July, and I think it was perfect timing too, because I really needed that diesel heater that time when I picked it in. The first camping trip, 
that I went to after I picked it up, there was icicles coming off me, dropped it off the car, it was that cold. But with the diesel heater, I was sitting in here like I'm dressed now, t-shirt and shorts, nice comfy 26 degrees and i could have even turned it up higher but of course they use power so you need power to run it and i was running that thing all night long like 15 16 hours straight and um yeah it's been great i mean if i didn't have that you know if i was still stuck with the old batteries or a 120 amp hour um heavy heavy i mind really heavy one of those AGMs, I mean, there's no way I would have been able to run that all, all night. As well, I've also got a hot water system, so it's been running really good. And it's Yep. And what um, what chemist, what chemistry are they, Phil? Like, I know you're always going... Yeah, Life PO4, guys. <laughs> the only batteries, the only technology I would have inside a camper, caravan, a vehicle anything like that particularly with our climate here in australia is a life po4 because it's a much safer chemistry and luckily nearly all the batteries lithium batteries out there on the market are life po4 chemistry so that's that's a good thing that's a good thing even some of the the cheapest of the cheapest brands are still lose using the life po4 yeah yeah, and I think uh, you were talking the other day there, I seen a video you were doing, and uh, you were talking about a guy over in America, uh, what's his name, Will Prowse or something? Or... Will, Will Prowse, yeah. Powers, yeah, and he, Will Prowse. Yeah, yeah, and he actually um, did to a teardown on one of these uh, lead-time batteries, and uh, he was very impressed with um, the actual build quality and the uh, quality of components inside them. Yes, yes, actually, to tell you the truth, that very battery that he pulled apart and he says he's really impressed at the quality, you know, it's got good components, everything, really good sales. Um, it, it gives you the, the specifications that uh, they claim it is. You actually get that, plus even more in some cases. I've got that very battery. In fact, light time. Is it light time or lead time? We've got to check. With I, the I get confused with it, mate. I call it lead time, so that's lead what time. I'm going with. Yeah, okay, we'll go with lead time. <laughs> Maybe someone from lead time can can let, let us know, let you know how you pronounce it properly. Um, so they actually, kind enough, they contacted me recently, Stephen, and they, because after, because you, you, you told them recently that, you gave the battery to me they contacted me and they said are you interested in collaborating with us as well and i said well yeah and and so they're sending me that particular battery that will powers i think it's powers has teared apart they sent me one of those batteries so it's 120 amp hour and it's um marine grade as well so it's both marine grade and four drive off-road so it's dual purpose it um gives many many um uh lots of use lots of use is the, word. Um, but the point we wanted to make is this battery is well suited to either being on and outside of a van in a box or as long as you follow the regulations have got it vented to the outside you're going to have no trouble with uh, dust, water. They are a, ma a marine grade battery. They are a terrific battery. Um, I had no trouble with that battery when I had it and was running it. I was drawing up to 100 amps out of it using um, induction cookers, all sorts of things, and awesome. it handled it no worries at all. So um, yeah. they are, and they're really well valued in uh, price. I, I mean, I think I looked on the website the other day, and you can pick up some great deals. On their batteries as well they're pretty competitive in the market for what you get yeah i agree they are very competitive um currently if you go online they've got a sale and also i'm sure steve you'll have pro probably a discount code as well i imagine yeah i will um i'll have a discount code up at the end of this yeah. video um yeah. so people can save um i think about seven percent off the price whatever the price is on line so if they've already got it discounted 
you can put my discount in as well, and I think you'll save that extra money as well. So, it, and, um, yeah, exactly. And guys, you're watching this. I had a look yesterday. They got huge discount on at the moment, so you could adva take an advantage of an extra seven percent discount on top of what they've already discounted. So just just makes it a terrific deal, and they got five year warranty. Yeah, that's awesome. So. All I really wanted to do was catch up with you, see how it was going, and mm. announce I will be doing another video on my build series in the new um, Ford Ranger. And yeah. great to hear you've got a battery set out. And you're actually going to do a review pretty soon, probably next week. I think it's going to come out. Uh, that'll be before the end of um, March anyway. Uh, yeah. Phil will have a, a review and be talking about that battery that you've put ahead in the car in your camper trailer. Yes, I will. Yes, I'm going to do film a review of battery because now it's been in here for eight months. And uh, even though, um, I mean, my last big camping trip was August last year, but I was away for nearly three weeks. So I was traveling. And it was really three... rainy weather too, wasn't it? So you didn't have oh, a lot of was, charging. Yeah, yeah, it was just constant rain. It was rain, 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 rain. And, and you know, it, it, it handed, it kept up with everything I wanted in the camper trailer, no problems at all. And if I wanted to charge it, then I just whack a solar panel on it and way, way you go. You know, it's was, it was perfect. So, yeah. Uh, it well, that's fantastic, quickly. mate. Um, I will leave a link in the description to your channel uh, yep. so that people can check out uh, your video. So make sure you get onto Phil's camping reviews. He has some great content. He's very knowledgeable um in 12 volt uh situation so i don't think you would mind answering people's questions if they want to get in contact with you and yeah. ask you a few questions pick your brain he's got some great videos on other products on his uh, channel as well so definitely get behind phil's camping reviews and uh get on there check him out um i'm glad i could help you out mate it was absolutely you're a great bloke and um yeah, for all the you. stuff you've done for me it was only a small thing but uh I'm glad you've got some use out of it and uh, it's worked out really good for you. Yeah, no, it's been brilliant. I mean, it's going to be awesome too. I mean, soon it'll be winter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Surprisingly, yeah, it'll be good to catch like up with you, mate. In winter, not in summer. I like camping in winter. <laughs> so yeah. for me, especially now I've got the diesel heater, it's so much easier for me to get warm than it is to cool down. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, uh, that's that's probably about it from me on here. So I'll say uh, goodbye to you and uh, I'll finish up my video and uh, look forward to seeing you on your video as well too, Phil. So cheers, awesome. mate. Good, good cheers. seeing you. Yeah. All right. See ya. Bye. See Bye. you, guys. Bye. Well, thanks to Phil. Um, I'll finish off now. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. So make sure you get on to Phil's camera and reviews. Check out his channel and um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you've got any questions, queries or comments, uh, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you and uh, see if I can answer them. If I can't answer them, Phil will be on this video and check it out. He'll answer them for you. So see you guys. Bye.